Well, Future's Eve is a cult sci-fi performance spectacle which shifts between theatre, dance, live art and retro science fiction. Now, we've been told that once we've seen it, we're never going to talk to Siri quite the same way again. Michelle Aiken has brought her award-winning solo show over from Perth and she's here now to tell us all about it. Welcome, Michelle. Hi, thank you. Really nice to have you here. So this is your first, uh, your debut show in New Zealand. What made you decide to bring it here? Um, I met some Auckland feminist performance artist uh, in Perth of Fringe World, Julia Croft, and she said, you should bring your show to the basement. So and I you went, yep, that's a great yeah, idea. Sounds awesome. Yeah, there's are. a lot in this show, uh, you, know, you know, that whole sci-fi dance comedy. Mm. What's led you to this? What's your background? I did a dance degree at WAPA, but since then I've kind of not done that anymore. Now I'm making weird kind of experimental theatre about stuff. So weird sort of experimental theatre, that sounds right up my alley actually. Yeah. Um, Futures Eve, you've won the Melbourne Fringe Tour Ready Award. Uh -huh. but that was at the Perth Fringe World Festival. Yes. So what did that award mean and has it helped your career? Um, it's been quite huge actually. It's given me the chance to take the work on tour, which was kind of the dream in making it. So it gives me a bit of cash and um, free rego for Melbourne Fringe, so that's where we're going next actually. Well that's a big festival isn't it? Oh, it's smaller than Perth Fringe, actually. Oh, wow. Shockingly. But yeah, it's a super fun, like, queer-ish theatre festival. So I'm really excited to be there. Uh, it sounds like an absolute heap of fun. This show in, in particular, what really inspired you to, to put this together and, and to write this one? Oh, gosh. I wish I actually knew the answer to this. Because it's probably... I read some clickbait on Facebook about sexy robots and was like, oh, no, that's terrible. <laughs> Or, you know, probably watching Blade Runner for the first time in a while as well. I mean, just roles of women in this, not good. Because yep. there is a lot of that in the past, isn't there? It was very much objectifying women as robots and in, and in sci-fi. Yeah, like literally women as objects and now with like the imminence of AI and sex robots and, you know, Sophia, the the robot and stuff is like, hey, these are women objects that you can do anything to. Like, what's with that? Yeah. Well, that's true. Well, I'm thinking, I mean, it's not a good example, but the Austin Powers ones too. Yeah, Fem the Fembots. Yeah, well. the pew, pew, pew. Yeah, exactly. Although that <laughs> could be quite handy to be able to do this. <laughs> anyway, so this show, tell us a little bit about it. So dance, theatre, performance art, how does it all work together? Um, it's just me in a shiny silver unitard, um, making some dumb jokes. Uh, I make toast, I make coffee, I've got a Roomba that <laughs> was meant to like be the star of the show but it's a really naughty robot so it just does a few things. <laughs> what is a toaster? The, the, does a toaster play some sort of a role in that? Her name is Tina and I force the audience to watch me toast a piece of bread <laughs> but it's actually this bit about um, consent and inanimate objects. That's pretty deep thinking, you know, to go to go from it's this a leap. message. Yeah, I guess though that does kind of prove a point in some ways. Hopefully. Yeah. And the thing too with you doing your solo show is that it is all on you up there, isn't it? Does that give you a certain amount of freedom to actually, as you say, toast a piece of toast if you want to and do what you want, or are you more concerned about doing it on your own? Um, I think it lets me have a lot of fun with it, and it's also. Working with robots is actually a liability. <laughs> it kind of lets me be like, wow, things are going really wrong. <laughs> Does Let that... me just like, pause and solve this. <laughs> Does that add an element of, uh, uh, I guess, anxiety? Do you get nervous before, before doing the show? Mm, yes, <laughs> and kind of excited and kind of at this point, I've done it quite a few times and I know it so well that it's like, okay, what's it gonna be like today? Like, we've got audience participation and if nobody is giving the answers, like, what's that going to be like? Or... So what do you want people to come away from the show with? Like, what do you want them to be feeling or thinking about? Hmm. I think I want them to think about the fact that the future is, like, not inevitable. Or, like, the path that we're on right now, we maybe have the power to change that and have a say in it. And if we keep thinking about robots, like, collectively, we can hopefully shape our collective future into something really great. Yeah. Cool. Well, it sounds intriguing. I'd love to come along and see it because um, anything about robots and anything with a Roomba, um, I don't know how you can work those things. <laughs> how can anyone work them? I can never get mine to work properly. <laughs> when I borrowed once. Hey, well, thanks so much. Thank An absolute you. pleasure. Now, Michelle's award winning solo show, Futures Eve, plays at Auckland's Basement Theatre until the 1st of September, and you can check out their website for ticket details.